Firstly, we have the Mark I Maxi dial. This dial was introduced in 1977 to approximately 1978. The Mark I dial is the last of the Submariners to have the depth rating above the word Submariner. It also is recognisable because of the zigzag S in the word Submariner. Next, we move on to the Mark II Maxi dial. This dial was seen introduced in 1978 and is the first time that we see the word Submariner placed above the depth rating on the dial. It is also recognisable because the equal sign in the depth rating is directly below and in the middle of the letter A. Next, we move on to the Mark III Maxi dial, which was also introduced in 1978. This one is recognisable because the word Submariner is slightly smaller than the depth rating on the dial. Also, the two zeros in the depth rating line up directly below the N and the E in Submariner. Next, we move on to the Mark IV Maxi dial, which was introduced in 1981. This dial is easily recognisable as it features a zigzag S like the Mark I dial and Submariner being above the depth rating. You will also see depth rating slightly wider than the Submariner text, with the equal sign of the depth rating being under the A in Submariner, only a little to the right. The last dial we move on to is the Mark V dial. This continued till around 1984 before the dials were replaced with white gold hour markers. The Mark V dial features open sixes and the equal sign directly below in the middle of the letter A in Submariner. Thank you for watching. If you found this informative in any way, please feel free to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content coming soon.